A few weeks ago, I started to collect gachapon food dogs. So far, I've got a pug in a sandwich bun. I've got a dog laying on some pancakes with whipped cream. I've got a cheese, lettuce, and dog sandwich. And last but not least, I have a Pomeranian laying inside of a sausage bun. Now initially, I had planned to buy only one dog, but somewhere along the line, one dog became four dogs. So now that I've got four out of six, I figure, fuck it. I might as well get the whole damn collection now, baby. All that's left is the corgi inside of a hot dog bun, and we've got a chihuahua inside of a croissant. So I headed downtown and noticed even more sweet gachapone collections. For example, here's a collection with dogs wearing masks. So they've got masks with cows, aliens, horses, and even Buddha heads. So basically the dog wears a mask. Kinda weird if you ask me. Next we've got a collection of cats wearing hats. The collection is called Buneko, which apparently means ugly cat in Japanese. So basically, it's ugly cats wearing hats and they look pissed out of their mind. That's some kawaii shit right there. Next, we've got some projectile turtles in this bitch. I guess what you're supposed to do is press the back legs of the turtle and the body shoots out at high velocity. Anyway, enough with these collections. I'm getting away from my mission. A little thing I like to call the dogs. So I went over to my usual Daog capsule station, but suddenly I was struck with a sense of fear, I was struck with a sense of doubt. You see, I need only two more Daogs. I think I only need the orange and the yellow balls because I've never gotten those before. Basically what it comes down to is I know I'm only human. So far I've gotten four for four, no duplicates. I'm worried today it might be different. So here's my first attempt, let's see what I get. Damn it, it is a duplicate. It looks like we got a Pomeranian Daog here. Here's my second attempt. Let's see what I get. Man, oh man, another duplicate. That would be a pug in a sandwich bun right there. So I'm looking at the side again here, reassessing my tactics. Looks like I see an orange one toward the back and I see some yellow ones as well. Gotta keep the faith, baby. Gotta keep vigilant. So here's the next dog. Nice fucking dog. Looks like I got a new gotcha pawn right there. So at this point, my hand's actually shaking. I'm so excited and stressed out about these dogs. I started to wonder, what exactly am I doing with my life? I mean, here I am, nervously shaking, crouched over some toy machine. I'm becoming exactly the kind of person I was afraid I'd become. These fucking dogs are slowly but surely taking over my life. What the fuck? See, I wanted an orange gotcha pone, but I've got the green one instead. Normally, I should just walk right away, but instead, I go back again. Dogs are taking over my life. Alright, baby, I'm doing one more try at this machine. Fucking hell. Okay, you know what? This is gonna be my last try. Damn it, last try in this machine. It's gonna be the last fucking try. I'm channeling the power of the dogs. Here we go. Alright, fuck this thing. I'm going to another station. Actually, I'll do one more just to make sure. Alright, fuck this machine. Pretty sure it's a racist machine anyway. It doesn't like white people. I can see I'm not wanted, so I'm going somewhere else. So I walked a little bit down the street, went to this huge ass store that's dedicated to Gachapone. Man, they've got rows and rows of these capsule stations. Got a whole bunch behind me too. Shit's getting crazy around here. So this store has the food dogs. I'm gonna give my first attempt here, let's see how it goes. Nicely played right there. First try on that machine. That machine is clearly not racist. So I headed home and now it's time for the unveiling of the dogs. I think I'll start with this yellow gotcha pone first. I wonder what it is, corgi or croissant. Let's check it out and get that promotional paper out of the way. And it looks like we've got the chihuahua inside the croissant. 
So let's take him out of his wrapper here. Wow, nice fucking dog right there. Looking good, baby. You can see the edges of that croissant glistening in the light. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty damn good food dog, but to be honest, in real life I'm not really a huge fan of chihuahuas, so overall I would say this is the least favorite dog of mine from the entire collection. Nonetheless, overall, it's a pretty damn good dog. That chihuahua is looking mighty fine in my lineup. Just one more gotcha pwn to go. Oh man, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The unveiling of the corgi. Here we go, baby. Gonna pop that bad boy open. Get that promotional paper out of the way. The corgi's head is sticking out of the ball. The fucking corgi's tongue is sticking out of his mouth. Oh my god, this is gonna be one crazy ass gotcha pwn. Here we go. Unwrap this bitch. This is the ever-elusive Corgi, the last dog in the collection. Oh my god, nice fucking dog right there. Holy shit. I think that Corgi's smiling at me. I think he's as happy to be owned by me as I am to own him. Maybe it's cognitive dissonance talking right now, because I spend so much money to get this damn dog. But I think I'd say this is the best dog out of them all, even better than the pug in the sandwich bun. I mean, look at that bun. It's a realistic bun. It's glistening in the light. We've got some ketchup on the dog's back. It's a fucking sweet-ass dog right there. Nice tongue. It's got those classic corgi short legs sticking out the back and front. Nice fucking dog. So I took the keychain off the corgi, set him free. I put him in the lineup with the other dogs, and I think it's safe to say that he's stealing the show, baby. As for the other gotcha pwn, aka the stray dogs, let's just say I've got a secret plan for finding them a home. Anyway, thanks for watching. Why don't you leave a comment and let me know what you think.